Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to another baby account update video. Now we are on week nine, I'm pretty sure now. We are two weeks in since I started really gearing up the Infinity Watch characters more. And, and I know, yeah, we're, we're actually knee deep in patch 5.5 now. I say knee deep, but it's only been a day actually. Uh, but as you can see with the featured character of Sharon Carter, uh, we have the Secret Avengers patch. Now when it comes to a newer account, I'm, you know, just like I said about my main account, I'm really not sure how much value these characters are necessarily going to have uh, for newer and mid-game accounts. And we're going to talk all about that. We're also going to go over what I've accomplished in the last two weeks. Admittedly, there hasn't been a ton of movement as I am level 61. I don't remember what I was last update two weeks ago, but we're going to talk about all that in this video, in this Boylan89 baby account update. So. Let's get this show started. And we're going to start things off in my roster page because this is where there's been the most the most movement in terms of my game. Now, I have been focusing on the sort of top lineup, the top shelf here, and mainly I've been using a lot of 4 Infinity Watch. 4 Watch? Is there is there a term for this? Kess Watch? Four Watch plus Kestrel, Kest Watch, is that what people are calling it? I don't know. Uh, but this is what I've been using, and I've been using it for a ton of my content, especially for raids, and I think this is probably what I'm going to be using for Dark Dimension 2. I might remove one of them for Ghost when it comes to Dark Dimension 2 at level 70. I know we're still a little bit ways away. I don't know how long that's going to take me, maybe about a month's time or so. I'm getting roughly a level every four or five days now. That's why things have been slowing down quite a bit. Uh, but we are keeping up with level 61. That's where we're currently at. I'm getting all my main characters here up to 61, except for I haven't done it on Zemo and Yo-Yo. But I would say these top 10 characters here are sort of who I've been gearing up. Uh, yeah, I know Hela's still here. There's been some uh, contestation about whether or not Hela's still worth it. And I, for the moment, I'm still gearing her. A, she's, she was helpful in the Mystic campaign, which I still haven't finished yet. So I will still need her in order to do that. But but moving down the list, Ghost is going to be geared up pretty soon as well as we kind of inch up closer to Dark Dimension 2. And I'll probably still need her for Dark Dimension 3 as well. I just haven't really put the resources into her yet. Uh, as far as the new characters go for the Secret Avengers for this patch 5.5, I did pull a 3 red for Sharon Carter. Uh, you know, <laughs> I'll unlock her and get that 3 red, but I don't really put a lot of stock into these patches characters. I honestly, I, I think that the 4 watch, Kess watch, I think is really good for raids, and I think they're more than good enough, because I've been able to clear it, you know, surprisingly, some nodes in Ultima 7 even at this 30k power, 35k power, whatever they're at here, and I've been able to fully clear ultimate 6.5 when our alliance has gone back to do that, and I've been able to do alpha 4 cosmic, so they've been really, really good for what I've been needing to them to do lately. Now, I know that when I move into things like beta and gamma, I'm going to get screwed over in terms of my raid contribution, but I just really don't know. I, I, I don't really know if I want to put a lot of stock into these characters this patch for my baby account. If I do anyone, I think it's probably going to be Captain America Sam. I think he is the better standalone character in terms of this patch. I think that he is more widely applicable because a lot of his uh, a lot of his passive actually just talks about skill characters, non-Secret Avenger skill characters and rays. So I think there's more validity to him there. But when it comes to both Maria Hill and Sharon Carter, they kind of need each other and also need Sam. So Sharon Carter, you know, his her basic, you know, request, if Captain America Sam is an ally. So you kind of need them to be on the team and then Maria Hill I believe also has some sort of uh, if Sharon Carter's tag if Sharon Carter's an ally so not a lot of them can be used independently whereas Captain America Sam doesn't actually include any of the other two in her tech in his text sorry uh, so that makes him more widely applicable so in terms of what I'm building I, I've been very uh, slow you know I've been kind of shard, shard grinding a bit and we'll kind of go over some of the characters that I've been doing for that so if you're kind of in a similar position or a similar level as to where I'm at then I'll kind of let you know what I've been going through now so to start from right to left on the campaigns I guess uh, for mystic we'll start at mystic and uh, who am I do am I doing anyone here so we have mystic 2 9 cleared uh, we don't have Mystic 3 unlocked yet, that's going to be at level 63, but what's going to be important here is getting the Loki node unlocked, and not Vision, I think it's like getting to 3-6, in the case I want to farm him up, because he is usable for um, 
Phoenix eventually at some point if I do want to do that and for Black Bolt of course but that's not a huge priority for me. In terms of other characters uh, Cable is on 1-9. I have been farming him occasionally not every single day I'll do it now actually uh, but you know he is a character that I'm going to need for Doc Ock I don't know at what point I'm going to unlock him because I still need uh, Negasonic at Doom 1-9 however I am still you know going to pick up some shards along the way. In terms of Cosmic there is a few that were added more recently Taskmaster here to Cosmic Cosmic 2.6, I think this is going to be kind of important. Also, just a, a stronger character to use for Payday, so you don't have to gear up the others as much because he is probably the better member of that team. Stature on Cosmic 1.9, this is going to be very important for your Pimtech team to get ready for Jubilee in the near future, depending on where you're at. And then Polaris, of course, was recently added to 1.6. Very important farm for Adam Warlock, which, yes, I know is going to be very late, but make sure you're doing that every single day. And I just got four shards, so awesome and moving on to nexus who have i been doing there um i've actually been skipping falcon i wouldn't really do him but uh venom i have been from time to time if i have some bonus energy because obviously he's a symbiote he is an older symbiote though so i don't know if by the time i actually need them as a team for something like doom raid there might be a replacement to both venom and carnage at that point because they are older characters so kind of shard farming but not every single day okoye i have been shard farming although i haven't done it yet so let's do that because of chaos theory which we're going to talk about in a later video when i go over the uh, most important flash events and sort of my tier list for the flash events but chaos theory is very important for promotion credits so making sure that you get shards for okoye even though she's such a shitty character is someone that you're going to need for that flash event so that's something i've been doing beast a really important character for that astonishing x-men team even though i don't don't have Jubilee getting the shards now I think will be really helpful because I see that team especially for things like Doom Raid down the line I, I don't see the Astonishing X-Men being replaced anytime soon so that's an important character farm there Moving into four, again, we have Black Panther for the Chaos Theory event. I've been kind of alternating between him and Okoye because admittedly, you know, there are a lot of decent characters to farm for different reasons, so I don't always have enough energy for him. Nebula definitely on that tier list, uh, that, that farm list, even though I haven't done that. Let's do this and actually just get Nebula and Black Panther at the same time. Didn't get any Nebula shards there, that's unfortunate. Did we get any Black Panther? We got two. Okay, better than nothing. So moving on, I mean, I don't think there's much else really in the Nexus chapter that's worth building. There is Captain America, regular Captain America at once three. I don't know how um, how much I'll need that. He is currently almost at four star. I believe that he's still usable as a Wave 1 Avenger for Doom War, so I might have to do this at a later point, but for the moment, I'm not really doing that. For villains, it's pretty easy. There isn't really a lot here. Uh, villains Chapter 4, 9, this is Wasp. Again, for the exact same reason as Stature, so make sure you farm her early so that you can at least get her to 5-star. And once you get to 5-star, you know, if you want to, like, sort of uh, stop farming her for a little while, that's fine, too. Just make sure you get up to 5-star for that Pym Tech for Jubilee. That's kind of important there, especially as a newer per a newer player who maybe haven't had a chance to really get a lot of shards for them. Don't really think there's anyone else. Much Black Widow at 1-9, but frankly, we're getting Black Widow shards shoved down our throat with all these events and the Blitz. I don't think you really need it. Uh, and for Heroes, again, because you need to kind of do that for... For your daily objective sometimes I do Yelena because she is available for the uh, skilletary flash event not super important but I have been slowly farming still the sinister six just to get an unlock for invisible woman and Shuri I don't know if I'll go much beyond five star right now but I have been slowly farming shocker and also Mysterio on chapter two but he is also available in the raid store Mysterio so I'm a little bit closer ahead on that I, I tend to open a lot of raid orbs and we're gonna talk about that I don't really think that Hawkeye and uh, Punisher are really necessary. Again, Punisher for that skilletary event, but uh, there is a lot of easy ways to pick up shards for him, so uh, I do want to mention that as well. But let's talk about the store. What am I doing? And of course the ads pop up. <laughs> what am I doing in my store? I am picking up currently Gamora out of my store every single day. No brainer there for Infinity Watch. So make sure you do that. Pick her up. All I would do it all the way to 7 star, frankly, because she's that good. So getting her up that high will be really important. And I'm also alternating some shards for Rhino, again, for the reason of unlocking Shuri and an Invisible Woman, at least up to 5 star. Beyond that, I don't think there's a lot of characters in the Blitz store that you really need. Actually, I would pivot to Ant-Man a little bit as well for the same reason I talked about Pimtech. So getting him to 5 star, probably in between Rhino and after Rhino is something that I would do. 
because I don't have Yellow Jackets farm unlock, it's going to be a little bit of time before I get Jubilee. But, you know, doing this a little bit early means you don't have to do it later as well. Other than that, I don't think there's anyone else here in the store. I did get Electro to 5 star already, so if you haven't done that, again, for Sinister Six, then I would recommend doing this for doubling up for Shuri and Invisible Woman. None of the newer characters, She-Hulk, Ironheart, really worth your Blitz credits in my opinion. For the Raid store, I've actually just been opening up Raid Orbs because technically that is the best bang for your buck. You are getting a nine character shards. Now, admittedly, you're not getting the characters that you, you know, it is random, but you are getting them at quite a cheaper value for uh, your raid credits. So even though it's kind of random, I'm not really in a hurry to get a lot of these characters up to a certain star level. The ones that are in there that I think will probably make the most make the most uh, impact into your game is probably going to be characters like uh, Killmonger for the Flash events because he is usable in three. And if you haven't checked out my Killmonger video and why to upgrade him, definitely check that one out as well. I'll leave that at the end. Mysterio here again for the Sinister Six. Thor as an Asgardian and maybe an early character and then Yo-Yo and Zemo. So I don't, now that Infinity Watch or Four Watch Kestrel is a thing, I haven't been using them as much, but Baron Zemo is very good for the villains campaign and will resurface again for villain 7-1 to 7-3. Yo-Yo is a pretty decent character as well, and especially now that she's farmable, I think this is pretty decent. But again, I have them at 4 star, not in a hu huge rush to get any heavy stars on them, so I'm just opening up the raid orbs and then, you know, I'll just get a nice spread of character shards that way. And for the arena, what I have been doing is I talked about a lot about Chaos Theory, so I have actually been picking up some shards for M'Baku. I'm currently at 3 star, and that's because I haven't done any Chaos Theory yet, so I'm fine for this month, which means I can go I do the 1 star, 2 star, and 3 star level of Chaos Theory, hopefully, uh, for the next time it comes around, and then I'll work on that a bit more afterwards. There's not... I don't know what to really do. You know, I picked up... Uh, what did I do? <laughs> I, I picked up Swarm to 5 star for the Sinister Six, but none of these other characters, Scream and Red Guardian, are just too expensive, and I don't really want to spend the 975 on them. Corvus, again, a lot of these characters are useless. Blob, useless. Uh, Corvus is useless without the wider team and not really worth building. Crystal and Asgardian, so I'm actually skipping Black Bolt and Ebony Maw. Believe it or not, uh, so I'm not actually picking up Crystal and Heimdall at this point because I'm actually seeing how far I can get in my game with by skipping Black Bolt and Ebony Maw because by the time I actually need them, which would be for um, Dark Dimension 4 Legendary, I think there will be other characters available or I won't necessarily need to use these characters. So I don't want to go through the hoops of going through the Asgardian loop to get to Black Bolt and then the Inhumans loop to get to Ebony Maw. I'm just bypassing this completely, which means I can skip more or less skip shard farming for you know eight to ten characters the only really good character that i'll continue to use is probably hella and so carrying on to the next story of the war store of course i have been really only picking up ghosts and long shot and that's for the reasons of the legendary characters for jubilee and for adam warlock so i'm kind of pre-prepping for that I guess I could pick up some shards from Minerva. I haven't really been doing that. I've just been trying to make sure that my Ghost and my uh, Longshot are up to 5 star before I really decide to do anything else. Now, I don't know, again, if what I'm doing is the best, but obviously if you're restricted in terms of your resources, I think that just makes the most sense long term, depending on you know what level your account is and so on. Haven't been really doing anything else. I'm, I'm trying to pick up some red star upgrades for Nebula. In terms of my Infinity Watch, and Gamora as well, actually. Uh, in terms of my Infinity Watch, I only have two star, two red on Gamora and two one red on Nebula. So I really need to pick this up a little bit. If I find them in the... Uh, the store in the Red Star store, I think that's something that I'm probably going to do because that's going to be really important for my team. And speaking of my Infinity Watch, talking about my arena, I've been a bit lazy to be honest. I've been doing like two attacks and calling it a day. But if I really wanted to, I could probably go a bit further. But in terms of what you'll see in the arena here, is Kess Watch. You know, it's nothing but Kess Watch here. Sometimes there's a little bit different. There's a, there's a variation of a Drax here, but realistically, that's really all there is. I think there was a Dad Bros. Yeah, there's a Dad Bros. over here, but other than that, it's basically Kess Watch. So there isn't really a lot of variability in this, and that's just how Arena is. So in terms of what I'm up to, that's basically it. I've been. Uh, I'm now. I've been pushed into the uh, Veteran Blitz, and that sucks. The Baby Blitz is no longer there after level 60, but we did get the. Uh, the, the Blitz Simming unlocked, and that's helped me do this event, this current event, but uh, other than that, my rewards have been shit. I expect to get, like, maybe here, like, 20, 15 shards, maybe 5 shards. I don't know what the uh, the scoring is. I'm probably only going to get about 1.5 billion by the end of this Blitz, so I don't really expect a very large payout. But that is what it is, I guess, and 
that's really all there is to say on this update here. There hasn't been too much exciting, uh, but hopefully that you guys are all on the right track in terms of what you want to upgrade, and maybe by the time the next update there is, I'll have more to say about patch 5.5 and whether or not any of these characters actually are relevant for new players. So that's the end of this baby account update, guys. Thanks for watching, and of course, until next time, stay safe, and I'll see you all later. Boylan signing out.